Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today we'll be making some cards inspired by the popular HGTV show Fixer Upper starring Chip and Joanna Gaines. I love that show so much that I decided to make some cards inspired by the uh, modern farmhouse rustic style that you see in a lot of their renovations. We are going to start by stamping this Magnolia wreath stamp set. This stamp set is a layering stamp set, which makes this magnolia wreath seem much more realistic. Love using my Misty. Using a stamp positioner really helps to make sure things are lined properly. I'm just gonna take my die set and cut that out. Now I'm gonna move on to some hand lettering. I wrote out my sentiment in pencil first, and I'm gonna go back over it with these Micron pens to make it a little darker. Once that's dry, I will just go back over and erase all the pencil marks. Now I'm taking my tea ruler and a bone folder to make score lines in the form of subway tiles. If you watched their show before, then you know that subway tiles are pretty much a backsplash in all of their kitchen and bathroom renovations. So that's what I'm doing here. It's a really simple way to um, create this subway tile effect. It's a little hard to see on camera, but I promise you it's really pretty in real life. You can also use a scoring board to achieve this effect. The scoring board will give you deeper grout lines, if you know what I mean. So in a lot of their renovations, I notice a lot of natured inspired decor items, a lot of greenery, um, a very neutral color palette, which is why I'm, I heat emboss my sentiment in clear embossing powder and then rubbing uh, or blending brown ink over it um, to create a sort of like wood sign and so for my um, sentiment strip here. Joanna's designs are always very simple, yet they're really um, welcoming and they always have some rustic charm to them, which is what I want to replicate in all my cards today. Next up, we'll be using a sliding barn door stamp and die set. This stamp and die set is very popular among, <laughs> among card makers, and so I finally got mine in, and so I wanted to try it out. I first stamped the barn door in brown Distress Oxide ink, and then we used a die set to cut all the little hardware pieces in black cardstock. What's great about this set is that it includes the die to make the slider element for the top and bottom of your barn door. And so what I'm doing now is I'm putting these sliding mechanisms on the back of these dimes. I know what you're thinking, why am I using dimes and not pennies? Well, because when I put pennies on um, the slider track, especially the bottom, I realized the pennies were too big, which is why I'm using dimes. But that's okay. I mean, this card really only costs, you know, 40 cents. Well, 40 cents plus the X amount I spent on all the, you know, other supplies. But moving on. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm attaching the slider elements to the dimes. And then I will be attaching some nice, strong, double-sided adhesive to the other side of those tic-tac doohickeys. And that's the part where my bond door is going to lay on top of. I'm going to take the release paper off this double-sided adhesive and I'm only going to attach one side of the barn door first and then once that's good and on there, I'm going to peel off the backings on the other side. I'm going to slide the sliding glass door over and attach it to the other um, tic-tac doohickey thingies. I'm going to press down to make sure this barn door is really stuck on there well. The last thing you want is your barn door to just fall apart on you. That's not what Joanna Gaines would do. So we have to make sure that this sliding door works really well before we give it to our recipient. Once I'm done playing with it, I'm going to attach foam tape to the back of it. Um, that way I can attach that to my note card um, so the dimes can still move freely and uh, it won't impact the sliding barn door at all. So what you're doing is you're just creating a sort of track, and yes, that is scrap paper that I stamped on. I like to save all my scraps and use them up, so no one's ever gonna see that stamp part, and so that's why I use it. And at this point, I'm having too much fun playing with this sliding barn door until I realize that I have to attach my hardware. And as I'm attaching my hardware with some glue, I realize that I have no place to put a sentiment. The sentiment was supposed to go behind the barn door and I completely forgot. So I cut down a paper, uh, piece of paper down to size. I'm just gonna slide it under there. This should have been the first step, but oh well, what are you gonna do, right? 
it is what it is. I just have to fix it up and make it pretty because that's what Joanna Gaines would do. Okay, so whenever you have a card making boo boo like that, just think WWJGD. What would Joanna Gaines do? She would fix it up and make it pretty. Can you tell I have a girl crush on this woman? Have I made that obvious yet? <laughs> All right, next I'm going to add the rail, which is a faux rail. It's really there for show. The actual sliding mechanism is on that track we had built earlier. If you wanted to, you could heat emboss the hardware in um, metallic heat embossing powder a few times to give it that wow factor, but I decided to keep it simple because that's what chip canes would do. WWCGD, what would chip canes do? He would add a piece of white cardstock as faux baseboard to finish out the card. All right, let's get back to adding this sense fit now. So I'm going to attach some, uh, attach, I'm going to put some adhesive on there and kind of slide it behind my barn door and it fits like a glove. Um, you know, the sliding mechanism still works. It's a, just a little more tight, but it still works. I couldn't decide whether to stamp a wreath or a sentiment, so I decided to do both. I tend to make that same decision when I shop a lot. You know, when you can't decide between two things, I just get both. All right, I wanted my wreath to be two colors, so what I'm doing is I'm masking off a section of it, the, the bow part of it. I'm inking the wreath part, and then I'm going to use one of my Tombow markers to color in the bow part. There's your card making tip for the day. You can color on your stamps instead of inking on them to get the effect you want as well. So as I go to stamp this wreath on there, I realize that I smudged it. There's a little brown smudge right in the middle of my wreath, but... I'm not going to do anything about it. <laughs> I, I'm so far beyond the point of return that I just go with it. <laughs> right? This card is supposed to be rustic, right? It's supposed to be rustic chic, right? It's rustic chic. Uh, there's some imperfections that always go along with that theme. And so I stamp my sentiment on the other side, and now I'm making sure my slider works, and it does. So this card is pretty much done. I have to just add it to a note card, and I just want to show you this mess that is on my desk right now yeah like you, on the screen you see some nice and clean service but really it is a hot mess on the other sides of my desk just thought you enjoy that behind the seats peek there okay next card is going to be inspired by joanna and chip's love of shiplap and so similar to the first card, uh, except I'm using a scoring board this time, I'm going to make really deep score lines with, the score, with my scoring board. And then I'm going to use a light colored pencil to go over those same score lines in like light gray, just to um, make them stand out a little more so they uh, really represent shiplap. If you're not familiar with shiplap, it is basically horizontal wooden planks on your wall. Next, I'm going to write my sentiment uh, in white gel pen on black scrap paper. And I wrote it with the white gel pen, but it wasn't um, thick enough, I thought. So I'm going over it with my white paint marker. Again, I'm not this good at hand lettering people. I obviously wrote it out in pencil before. I'm just going over it and then erasing the pencil lines later. Next, I'm going to take some white pigment ink and a paper towel and just smudge some ink on there because I want this... Um, this piece to represent a chalkboard and so uh, doing this really um, creates that effect. I'll just trim it down and then I'm going to go back to my uh, card base. I'm gonna add, attach little like fake nails I guess. I don't know I thought it'd be cool. Just go with it okay. <laughs> I'm going to attach my sentiment to some brown cardstock to represent a wooden frame and once that is attached on there this card will be pretty much done as well. Just going to pop up my frame with some foam tape for some added dimension. Make sure it's centered, press down, and my card is done. So let's recap. I got my Magnolia wreath card with a custom sentiment on the inside. Then I got my sliding barn door card. Very cool. And then I have my ship lap chalkboard sign card. And in honor of Chip and Joanna Gaines in the great city of Waco, Texas, hit the subscribe button and y'all come back now.